So, Funny. before we get too far <laughs> off of the subject, is there any advice that you have for someone who's in the position of just kind of spontaneously getting laid off like that? Is there, cause that might happen to some of uh, friends of ours or maybe us here. In the yeah, no, I, it's, it's always show a that terrible thing, on. man. So, uh, like, what advice do any of us have for people? Well, this is my general advice. Um, don't just rely on animation jobs. If you can draw, try to see what else is out there. Like children's books, illustration, comics, cool. like, cause sometimes there can be little dry spells mm -hmm. and those dry spells can be harsh. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. absolutely excellent advice. Yeah, and I'm sure those they kill morale too. Dry spells, you're probably like oh know, they uh, they suck. Why did I choose this oh path? yeah, you think that you're like what what am I what, what's wrong with me? Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with you. There's just a dry spell. Because I've mentioned on the show before versatility. Like even though yeah. like I I'm I can board, but I can also do animation. I can character design a little bit. Right. So it keeps me able to bounce around. So you're probably, different jobs. I would say you're more. I should be. I want to be more versatile. Versatility helps, but like yeah. Versatility also extends to beyond just this. But also, don't do what you don't like. I realized early on, I boarding makes me depressed. Oh. So, okay. and that's like the main job in animation. So. Oh, yeah. I don't. I, and I don't do backgrounds. Right. I. What, I mean. Why, why does boarding make you depressed? It makes me unhappy. Yeah. Any reason? Just, just, just but, I don't know. But like you said, don't do what you don't like because you yeah. probably won't be good at it. Yeah, exactly, because you won't care about it. Uh, I'm good at board revising because I'm really good at cleanup, and I'm good at, like, you know... I'm really good at acting, like, drawing acting, you know? Yeah, yeah, like, sure. uh So sometimes I would take jobs where I was basically doing special poses and stuff, mm -hmm. but, like, boarding just always made me miserable. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I'm trying to figure out why. <laughs> I don't like, know. Boarding, the initial boarding stage makes you miserable, like, punching up acting and cleaning up your pool. I like fixing boards, but like board revision is not necessarily a job you want to keep doing. That's yeah. an yeah. entry level entry job. Level, yeah, for sure. um, I definitely, uh, I'll get to it later. I'll, I'll tell you how I ended up in a position doing a job that I didn't want to do. Oh, yeah, let's hear about that soon. Okay, but we're on Disney. <laughs> okay, so Disney. Oh, so then we were just hopped on and we're doing a bunch of random development. At least I was. I know you, you might have. Uh, oh, you left. Yeah, I mean, that's what happened. I went to go work on Problem Solver. That's what it was. So I stayed there, and then I was working with all the development people for like for a, a while at, at after Disney? that. Yeah. Oh, what were you developing? A bunch of things that Stuff never that never got made. Nothing that you would know. <laughs> oh, you. Know, I did work uh, with this Flash artist that I actually watched when um, she had cartoons earlier on when I was younger. She created. Uh, oh my god. I don't you got it. You got it. your tongue. Early, she early she Flash created... cartoon. Is this something like new Icebox grounds? or something or Newgrounds? Oh. Icebox. It was created by a woman. There's not that many. I know. <laughs> that's why I'm like. I don't know. Uh, it was like a girl and her beast that like were like Maybe evil. It was kind of like dark. It was a Flash cartoon. Yes. This sounds familiar. Yeah. No. You probably it know what it is. Anyway, so I developed one of her cartoons at Disney. Anyway, what the. I'm I'm terrible memory. I wasn't so oh, bad. No, no, never mind. I was thinking of a Nickelodeon show making fiends, but that wasn't it. That's it. Was it? Yep. No. So that was an internet cartoon. I think then they bought it, but I worked that was with on, her. Wasn't that on Nick? It, not initially. It was oh. an internet cartoon. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah making fiends. Yeah. Sure, so yeah. I worked with her for a while, uh, and Danner was doing it too. Okay. And uh, I that's how I got I got uh I pulled in Mike Chillian at that point because he needed a job and like he worked on it with me. That was super fun. He's a cool. super talented artist. You guys should have him. Yeah, we want it. We he's, want to have he's him. He's on the list. He's on. Is this like a hit list? Yes. Am I gonna be murdered on camera? Yep. This is actually <laughs> a snuff film. Yeah, Anthony, wow. tell you how these. That's how these yeah, things end. Where's the pillowcase? <laughs> Do I get a pillowcase to put, no, put over my head? Slow and painful. No. <laughs> but yeah, no. So like, uh, uh, so so now I'll explain how the the next thing happened. Okay, let's hear it. So, I'm in development at Disney. They moved us from the main campus, the one in Burbank, uh -huh. uh, to the Glendale one, which is across the street from the Imagineers. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were remodeling it because they were, like, rebuilding and expanding the the um, straight-to-DVD department, whatever, the direct of... Uh, direct to dvd DTS? Yeah, yeah DTS. Or whatever, the DTS department of Disney. Uh, so, we were, like, one of the only productions going on there besides, like, Kick Bukowski was, like, winding down. Mm -hmm. And uh, this guy, Paul Rudish, who uh, is like, you know, comes from that camp of like Craig McCracken, Gindy Tartakovsky, Craig Kalman. Like right? 
So he was developing Mickey Mouse shorts oh, okay. at that point. Gotcha. So yeah, he did. Uh, yeah, he's d- he's the show creator of those uh, oh, showrunner. Oh, he's the showrunner then. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, his name. So he was developing it, and he was just like also alone there. So his office was right where we were, and so he would just hang out with us. We would get lunch all the time, mm-hmm. and uh, he was just a really cool guy. And we would talk about like you know we liked the same music. We knew a lot of the same friends because like Chillian had worked with Craig Kelman on Ricky Gervais. That's right. Which I did some freelance for that, but I never was in-house. But they had, like, a really tight camaraderie. Uh, so we knew a lot of the same people. And then uh, Mike and I both left to go do the Rick and Morty pilot oh. at Starburns yeah, of course. Industries. And uh, before that, I think um, Justin Roiland was doing, like, something in his house. And he had me recommend people. Because I had met him um, right at Disney time. Because he was on Fish Hooks, a writer. Yeah. Uh, right when I met Alex Hirsch too at Disney, yeah. uh, and and uh, he had me recommend people, and I recommended MC and you, and so that's how Brian first started working with Justin Roiland. Yeah, MC that was yeah MC Griffin. Yeah. yeah, the I think that was during the community short that we did. Yeah, 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 yeah. and that, that was Mike, at that was with Mike and that Taylor. was before Starburns was Starburns. It was two 3D three D films. Two D films. Yeah. Yeah, and it was next to that McDonald's off the one thirty four. Uh, yeah, no, and I, you know, it's another weird thing. Like, MC Griffin, I went to school with him at Otis, uh-huh. but he left early, and then I met him again later because I started hanging out with all the Channel 101 guys. Okay. And MC just got finished working with us at the, on the comps. He did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but, so anyway, so, so I am responsible for Brian being Rick and Morty legend. Oh, right. I'm going to take it all. <laughs> no, no, no. Give me the credit. That's absolutely fair. I'm credit yeah. hungry. So because yeah, wait, because that was a connection. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew you, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you knew Mike. Mike knew Justin. Justin to you, and then yeah. like you guys recommended oh, me. So. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, no. Isn't it? See, that's animation. You just gotta you gotta make friends yeah, and 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 recommend your friends, yep. and then and they'll, they'll pay it forward. You. Yeah, yeah, they oh. pay it forward. Wow, that's pretty cool. Uh, you know. That. That's, that's why it's it's the getting in thing that's the hard thing. Yeah. It's just that one entrance. Yeah. Sure. And also, it's just like it, people think it's like a lot of nepotism, but like with us, it's like you have to prove it. Like, yeah. If, like if you sucked, I wouldn't recommend you. Oh yeah, and no, then you, yeah, then I no one will refer you. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah exactly. Uh, That's neat. Um, so, what are you trying to grab? Oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> I got you. More beer for Wait, Kelly. thank Princess you. Kelly. <laughs> oh wait, what'd you say? Princess Kelly. Okay, so he came up with that, and Princess I've really Kelly. grown into it. Because when he first called me that, I like denied it. I was like, I'm not a princess, and that was like years ago. And then now I've I've accepted the fact that yes, why, why, I'm a princess. Why, why, little, why princess? Because I'm spoiled. <laughs> okay, you make people get you beer. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> or cider, cider, cider. Cheers. 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 Oh, 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 I have, I have one. Cheers. Thanks for coming on our show. We're not. You're done welcome. Yet. Goodbye. To say thank you. No, <laughs> cheersing. I feel like when we cheers, I have to say thanks for something. Okay. Okay. Uh, Should I do the intro again, or are we good to go? No. Great. Oh, there we yeah, go. Let's go. Okay. So there was an intro, and then there was about 45 seconds to a minute of awkwardness. <laughs> that will serve as our musical intro today. Just us rambling about nothing. Uh, <laughs> now here we are.